Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Haley. Today we're going to be doing a Ulta slash Morphe haul slash Morphe foundation wear test. I got a few things. I got some new brushes from Morphe as well as a new blush and highlight palette and eyeshadow palette from Ulta. I got the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray as well as three of the Fluidity Foundation Shades. I'm not exactly sure because I just self-tanned last night. I'm not exactly sure what one will match me the best. F220 and F260 are honestly, like, they look like the same color, but I think I'm going to go with F220. Okay, so I just zoomed you in a little bit so I can see me applying the foundation up close. I am going to do one side with a beauty blender and one side with a brush. I have the Morphe Complexion Blending Beauty Sponge and then for my other side of my face I will be using the Morphe M439 Deluxe Buffer Brush. Deluxe Blending Brush. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. This is what the packaging looks like. It's just a plastic squeezy tube. It's very nice. Um, I love the little M on the cap. Pretty durable and I think it would be really good for traveling too because it doesn't have the glass bottle. I'm just going to take a little bit. Oh, I didn't use any primer. Unfortunately, I did not get the Morphe primer, so I'm just going to use my normal primers that I know work for me. The Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer and the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. Let that dry for a second, and then I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup Stick. In my previous video, you saw me only apply this on my forehead, nose, and cheek area. I have changed that up a little bit, so I'm going to apply it to my forehead, like I said, nose, cheeks. And I'm going to take a little bit in like the creases of my nose, but I do notice that I do have larger pores there. This is a really nice primer. The only thing I would say with it is don't like partially rub it into your skin. Um, it is more of a balm than a silicone based primer, but I have noticed that if you like rub it in kind of like harshly with your finger, that does kind of ball up. Okay, now for foundation, after we've primed, I'm going to go in just a little bit. I'm going to take the Beauty Blender on this side. This is dampened. Just start blending that out. I'm doing this strictly for you guys because I hate using sponges to blend out foundation. I just feel like it takes longer and you can get better coverage with a brush. Just not my favorite thing to do. It is a nice match for me. I will say that. I'm very proud of myself because I did this online too. And it's very hard to color match yourself online. I wouldn't say the coverage is full at first, but I will say it's buildable because like my forehead has a little bit more on it than my cheek and I can tell like the coverage difference. So that's good because I know I don't like full coverage. I'm more of a light to medium person. So that's good that it works for different needs. That is one side. I don't know if you can tell a difference. Then we would do the brush side definitely mattifying. Um, I would say if you have dry skin, definitely moisturize before you use this. It will um, make you look dry. I honestly can't really tell the difference. I thought I would like the brush side better, but I can't really tell the difference. I feel like this side looks a little bit more natural, but that's also might be because this has been, has more time to set into the skin. I can't really tell. I feel like it's just personal preference on this one. I would probably do it with a brush just because it's easier and faster for me, and I feel like I can just get more blended in less time, and I just like, I don't know, I just like the style of applying it better with a brush. I did get a Morphe concealer, but unfortunately it's really, really dark. So today I'm just going to be using the Maybelline I want to, this is really old, but I want to say it's the Maybelline Fit Me, Ma Fit Me not mascara, concealer, but it doesn't say Fit Me on it, it just says Maybelline, I don't know if you can see that, it just says Maybelline New York on it, it is kind of old, I probably should throw it out after this video and get a new one.
This concealer is way too light for me. I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of the dark one and mix them together. So we will have a little bit of the Morphe concealer. This is what it looks like. Ooh, this is a nice, um, big dome foot on it. I'm just going to go in and a little bit on the outsides so that it's not so bright there. I'm not a big fan of really, really light concealers. It does make that better. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and buff out those edges. I am not um, someone who's advanced in concealers. I don't really, um, I never really liked them. And I honestly think it was because I would just buy a concealer that was way too white for me. I kind of like realized this the other day. I was like, maybe that's why I don't like concealers. I get it too bright. So I feel like I can see myself using it more in the future. It does have a nice look with it when I blend the two together. It's not too light or dark. Next, I'm going to be taking the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder from Ulta. With this, I got this brush from Amazon. It's the DU Care, just a dual-ended brush. Take the smaller side and just brighten up the under eye. Then one of my new brushes that I got from Morphe. This is the Morphe E41. It's just their biggest powder brush that they have. I have been wanting to get this for so long. And with that, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte powder in translucent and yes I did drop it and break it the other day <laughs> there's still powder coming out of it so I lightly tap into that and set my face I'm gonna take my blender, blender here a little bit better it's kind of cakey um, right in between my eyebrows I have noticed I did notice that but other than that, I'm liking the way that it looks so far. I just hope that doesn't like get worse as I wear it. Next, I'm going to be taking my LA Colors Pressed Powder in Tan. Next, I'm going to contour with the Too Faced I always want to say Too Faced Born This Way bronzer, but it's not. It is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'm actually going to zoom you guys out a little bit. I feel like you've seen enough of my face. Next, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I did get a new brush for contouring. This is the Morphe M557. It is a smaller contour brush, but it does allow me to get a lot of precision, which I like. I don't like when my bronzer is like taking up my whole cheek. Um, I just don't really like the way that looks. I feel like I have a small face and like normal brushes that probably wouldn't have that effect on other people have that effect on me. So I just got the small contour brush from Morphe. I'm just gonna swirl that around in there, take off the excess, and kind of lightly contour. I will blend this out too, by the way. I don't like a harsh, harsh line. So go in with my precision brush to put the product down and then I will go in with this brush. This is the Anjo, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, A-N-J-O-U. I got this from Amazon as well. Just a light, fluffy blending brush. Next for blush, I'm going to be testing out the Lorac Shine Bright Color Source and Light Source Cheek Palette. This is a really, really pretty palette. Um, I actually got it because it was on sale. It is originally $29 and Ulta had it on sale for $20. I believe it was $20.80. I don't know if I'm going to use the highlight color in here because it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of too peachy for me. This is the highlight color. Um, I don't know, I'll think about it. But for blush, I'm going to combine the bottom two pinks. I did get a new blush brush from Morphe. Wherever she is, 
This is the Morphe M104 brush. It's just like a nice fluffy blush brush, but it can give you some precision, which is what I want. I'm just going to dip it into... Ooh, that has a lot of pickup. Dip it into both colors to have off excess. And I'm going to take my other end of my Amazon brush. It's like an angled brush blush brush and just kind of blend that contour and blush together lightly. Very light hand. I think I am going to use the um, highlight color in this palette. So I'm going to go in with Opalescent. That nice, it's like a very, I want to say peachy um, highlighter. So I'm kind of nervous because I don't want to show orange on my skin. If I don't like it, I'll go over it with my normal, um, the Bomb Mary Luminizer, but you will see how it applies and how it works. Ooh, holy crap is that pigmented. Look at that brush. Definitely you're gonna want to tap the excess off and not jam your brush around in there. Hmm, I'm not liking that. I, don't know. I like the way this side applied better because I was more careful with it. I'm gonna go in and kind of soften that up a little bit. I kind of want this video to be more of a wear test than a tutorial. I have another one coming up that I got a bunch of stuff at Sephora that I will do like a full glam look on. So I am going to fast forward through me doing my eyeshadow and stuff and brows and I'll come back. When I am all finished, I'm just going to show you the palette that I use really quick. It's just the Lorac Pro Matte Palette. It's mini. It has eight shades in it. I actually was so happy that I found it because I've been looking for just a matte palette with just neutral shades. That's really easy to carry. I love the idea of just being able to create a whole eye look with one palette. And it's, I like how it's small so it's easy to fit because I do like to carry a lot of makeup products with me when I travel. Um, so just wanted to show you that. I'm just going to do like a natural, probably just the four shades on the top, four brown shades on the top there, and just do like a natural brown eyeshadow look. So I'm just going to fast forward through that for you guys. Next I'm going in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and spraying all over. I love the fact that this is continuous because I feel like so many different setting sprays, like some of them come out really, really fine mist and some of them are just like bleh all over your face and you just feel like you just got soaked. So I love that this one is nice and subtle and it's just a continuous mist. So I'm just going to spray this. Okay guys, so that is my finished face. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to see what it looks like all together. I really like the way that the foundation looks. My only little tidbit that I have with it, it kind of looks cakey, like right around in between my eyebrow area. I don't know if um, that's just something that I did wrong applying it. I'm not exactly sure, but I noticed that I don't have those, that problem in any other area of my face. Um, I can see a little bit of my pores right here, but I also put a very thin layer on because I don't really want full, full coverage, so that could be also another reason. Uh, I just, that is like, this right here is like the only thing that's really a turn off to me. Um, I can just like see my pores pretty good in that area, and I, I don't know, it's just like, it looks kind of cakey. I did go over it afterwards um, a couple times with a beauty blender just to try and like blend it out better and it's just not it's not doing anything for me so I don't know if that's my face my 
the way I applied it or the foundation's fault. I am not entirely sure. Um, so this is what it looks like as of now. The time is 3.54. I will be checking back in. I'll probably do two more check-ins. Um, I'll do one in a few hours and then one before I go to bed tonight when I take it off. So just, this is what it looks like now. I hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial slash wear test. I know I kind of combined them into one, so I didn't really want to do the eyeshadow because I feel like that's just way too long of a video. I will be doing some tutorials in the future, some glam looks and just different types of beauty material, so that will be coming. So I will be back in a little while to do my first check-in, and so far I really like it. Um, just that little... That's my only problem with it. I like it other than that. It is a pretty good match for my skin tone. Um, my other products look really nice on top of it. Nothing's really patchy. Everything blended really, really well. So I don't really have any complaints about it at the time. So we will see how it wears. I'll be back in a little bit. Check-in time. So, I'm in my bathroom because my filming area obviously doesn't have good lighting at the moment and it's dark out. I use natural lighting at the moment, so I can really only film in the daytime, but I really, really wanted to do this wear test for you guys. I got to thinking about it later, I was like, oh my god, by the time I get to do like a check-in, it's going to be dark, so I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Anyway, I figured it out. The lighting is a little bit yellowy, but hopefully it's not too, too bad. Um, <clears throat> the foundation's looking really good. I haven't really done anything besides just, like, sit in it, I guess you could say. Um, the area on my forehead, let's see if I can, you can't really tell. This camera is not very good at focusing either. Um, the area on my forehead is actually not, um, any worse. It's not better, but it did not get worse, which I was afraid that might happen. My blush and contour are still on pretty good. Everything's pretty much in place. So that is my check-in. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys what time it was. It is currently 7.12, so it's been on for a little over four hours. Um, I don't know if I'm going to leave it on for another four. We'll see. Anyway, that is how it's looking right now. And I will see you guys in a little while. Okay, I'm back for my final check-in with you guys. Um, to be honest, I really don't see a difference. I think it looks the same as it did in my last check-in. Um, it is now 10.01 p.m. So I've had the foundation on for about seven hours. Um, I am really, really impressed with it. I definitely will be wearing it again. I think it looks just as good as it did in the beginning. Um, my problem area that I had before has not gotten any worse. It looks fine to me. It is definitely something that I will deal with. It's nothing too upsetting to me. Um, I'm really, really impressed with it. It has not really oxidized or anything. The color is still really nice and matches my body pretty good um, for picking it up online anyway. So yeah, I'm really, really impressed with it. I did use the Morphe setting spray with it as well, so I think the combo of the setting spray, the concealer, the little bit of the concealer that I used, and the foundation, I think they work really, really well together. I definitely will be using them again. I really hope you guys enjoyed this wear test. I hope it was useful to you. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. There will be plenty more videos coming up. I have lots of fun ideas that I'm really, really excited to film. If you guys have any requests or beauty ideas you would like to see from me, please leave a comment below. Oh, and I did forget to mention, I will put all the products that I use in the description box below because I know I didn't really thoroughly go through and explain everything that I used. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.